All right. Howdy, y'all. Hello, honey. How are you? I am good. How are you? I am also well. How do how do we sound, everybody? Hello, Mama B. Hello, Helen. Hello, Joyce. Hi, Wanda and Kim Marie. And yes, those people and, and Jada. Jada. How y'all doing? And hey, Joy. Joy, what's up? Hope everybody's having a spiffy Wednesday. I know I am. Week's almost done. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. So, how do we sound? Pretty much, Kiki. <laughs> and hi, how are you? <laughs> hey, Kiki. Uh, yeah, this is just uh, my mic. Uh, oh, it's actually Carrie's mic. Uh, back when we did a podcast, which was last week, uh, we have uh, gotten rid of the podcast, so we have time to do this. And uh, we will also be doing a Friday show with Mama B. That's right, 70 Acres Studio in the chat. Is there supposed to be a picture? Is what? Tim Marie is asking. Uh, yes, there is. Refresh. Hi, Donna. Hey, Donna. You're a little what? echoey. Um, check, check, check. Well, yeah, that's because I'm coming through her mic and my mic. It's because he talks loud. It's not because I talk loud. It's because your mic picks up everything. <laughs> we need to upgrade your lav mic again. Again. That'll be lav mic number three, people. Three. Really? I thought it was only two. Uh, no, when we get you another one, it'll be three. Yeah, because yeah. if if uh, if I mute her mic, uh, there's no echo. Correct. Hey, Moo is in the chat. How are you, Moo? Let me turn hers down. Uh, and uh, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. Well, no, you talk. Me talk. Well, yeah. So, people, we will be doing something. Uh, a little different for me because I've never, well, I hadn't previously ever fiddled with wire. And uh, one day, I guess it was a week ago or so, scrolling through Facebook and saw a little video. Uh, it was someone, it's one of those real quick, like maybe 20 second videos that show you real quick how to do something with not a lot of explanation and it was taking 20 gauge wire such as well when you're not pulling stuff 20 gauge wire like this and taking something round I tried all kinds of things to get different diameters uh, and making flowers out of them, such as, please don't, <laughs> such as this. Then you take it, dip it in some wood glue, and let it dry, and put another coat of that on. And then they used fingernail polish, which, what girl does it have at least a bottle? Or 10 of fingernail polish. I just wish you would wear it sometimes. When you type eight hours a day as much as I do, it nail polish is pointless. So that blah, blah, blah. I hate having extremely long uh, fingernails. You don't need long fingernails. That's the only time they look good. Meh. But anywho, they used fingernail polish, and I was like, well... That's well and good, but I have probably my weight in paint, and that's saying a lot. Why can't I use paint? So then it was my mission in life to get wire, get glue, and give it a whirl. And the first wire I tried was wire that I had here for something else, and it was floral wire. 20 gauge, but ow. Yeah, Freaking it was, ow. It was stiff. And that hurt. Didn't work. So Art Bitch ran out and got me what would work. Good Art Bitch. 
So, uh, let's see. Don't change. Here are two finished examples. This one is fingernail polish. It's three coats because the fingernail polish is more, uh, it's really, really translucent and it has some glitter to it. And this is color shift paint, the purple flash. And that was three coats just because I didn't put it on very thick. And I also cheated a little bit and put some poly acrylic on it just to make it extra shiny. And I put some glitter on it because, as Mama B would say, why not? It's glitter. So, two finished examples. And it's not hard. It was more of a learning curve because again never really messed with wire all that much um, and from being left-handed but also being right-handed I get myself a little twisted and turned around because I'll start doing something left-handed and, and when I move along I'll switch and do it from a right-handed perspective and when you do that and you're trying to twist the pedals they end up coming out at different angles and skews and it's really hard to try and get it to come back to look like anything even remotely like a flower. So I had to keep telling myself, you're left-handed, you're left-handed, you're left-handed. So I finally got a few of them made up as I drop one on the floor. Sorry, Art Inspector. I'm just glad I didn't do it. Did not mean to run you over and sitting and watching Mama B I think it was Sunday I had a couple extra long bits that were too short to do more flower but not long enough to do anything else and I started twisting this black one around and I was like huh looks either like a bobby pin or the body of a butterfly and I was like well let's see what we can do so I took and did two big ones on its own these were really <laughs> a pain in the butt to try and get the glue to stay in there and then I took the handle of this thing which is a rounded square and did the top and they actually turned out pretty well uh, had a harder time attaching the wings to the body and it's so funny when you go to paint on the second layer of glue it'll actually start to make the first layer it doesn't fall apart but it gets to be it almost looks like when it's wet you'll see because we'll I'll show you some of that it almost looks like a condom and the first time I saw that I, I mm, it was I just had to giggle to myself. Well, it looked like a used condom. Yeah, at that actually. Point, yeah. And then especially these big ones when they got wet and had the extra glue on them, you can see where it kind of like puddles up a little bit right there. Well, the weight of it would kind of make it sag down a little bit, and it really looked like a used condom at that point. But did yeah. it have a reservoir? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so. And no special glue. We just happen to have this Gorilla wood glue laying around the house from something we had been trying to glue. It's when we refinished. Uh, it, it's it's when we refinished the uh, the table. So figured, what the heck? We'll use it before it dries up and is of no use. Yeah, Mama what B, is the film yeah. on the wings petals? That's that is the glue. When it, when you dip it down in the glue and then you turn it right side up, erg, you get. It's almost. It feels almost like plastic. Uh, but it's semi-transparent, and as long as you're not overly aggressive with either the fingernail polish or acrylic paint 
it, it's pretty it, it withstands having that put on it so it's it's pretty cool um, I thought so anyway and I didn't know if anybody else was like me and never really had a chance to mess with wire or do anything like this because watching that video like I said there's no instruction it's just well very little instruction it was 20 gauge wire and then you see them holding something around and they loop they twist real quick now repeat that four more times and they real quick go through it and it's like uh, <laughs> slow down let me see what you're doing but I figured it, they're pretty they're um, semi sturdy like I said and I think you could take and put them on a journal cover you know you could take the back you could twist this wire down to give you a little bit more of a base and hot snot and there you go mm -hmm. so I, I think you, you know in the video they show putting them on like hair barrettes and making like a tiara out of them but there again that requires being a girly girl so yeah i'm going to interject real quick and just say when she did do it with the floral wire it was a complete fail Oh, he was just dying to use the soundboard. <laughs> now, we did try, or I tried, Elmer's glue. Does not work. It will lull you into thinking it'll work, and you'll move on after you've dipped it and it's sitting there, and you move on to make another one or whatever, and you look back over, and you know, you'll have maybe two petals with still glue in it and the other three have popped. So you figure, okay, well, I'll do it again. Or you try and readjust the petals because maybe they're a little too sharp of a curve and it's not allowing it to stick. No matter what I did, I could not, could not get Elmer's to work. Yeah, so Crystal's asking, uh, should, should it be wood glue or will white glue work? And the answer is no, white glue will not work. If you can get it to work, more power to you, but... I could not get it to do it at all. Uh, so, if you want to give it a whirl, give it a whirl. So, we're going to go through and we'll make one and we'll get some dipped. And then I have a few of them that are at the point where we can paint them up and make them look pretty. And we'll see where we're at at that point. All right. And trial and error on how long a piece of metal, I can't tell you, oh, well, you need six inches. It's going to depend on the diameter of whatever it is you're trying to wrap it around. And then it's, you know, fiddling with it until you figure out, okay, this amount of work when I use this, or, th you know, this amount of work when I use that. Even though these look very similar in size, the handle to one of my X-Acto knives, which is what this is, I had to take it apart, is actually just a slight bit bigger than the wooden dowel. I like it better because the rubber keeps the metal from slipping off. So... Yeah, and I do apologize about the uh, the sound quality. Carrie's mic, uh, because it's actually hooked up to a real mixer, it's taking all of the power needed to that uh, mic to actually get it to work. And so it's picking up everything. So uh, that's why the uh, echo is coming in, because if you mute her mic, it sounds like this. So uh, I think, um, like I said, we're going to need to get her a new mic, but uh, bear with us for the sound quality tonight. Thank you, and back to the show. And that was your public service <laughs> And yes, Don, I did say six inches. Men would say that's eight, but it's Bazinga. Six. Bazinga. <laughs> So, after some trial and error, hey Nancy, I found that if I leave a little off to the side for the first loop, 
it's for whatever reason it seems to help it a little bit so i again being left-handed you'll have to reverse it if you're a righty and yes crystal i like the rubber one Jeez, you people are pervs. See, I'm I'm trying to be good. I know tonight. he's I really actually am. being good. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Uh, let's see. So you take, you're gonna bring her around, and you're gonna want it to be tight. And then I have to tell myself, twirl it toward you, Carrie. <laughs> and there's your first loop. So. Again, put it back behind whatever it is you're going to pull it around. Keeping it as tight or as close to, because you people are having issues with the word tight tonight. <laughs> as close to the first loop as you can. You're going to pinch and hold. They're not <laughs> worried about you. Nancy said hey, so I was trying to say hey back. You pinch and hold and twirl. And then yeah, there were two. <laughs> and twirl. I think I'm going to try hooking up this mic over here for the next stream and see how well it picks up. Just because, you know, I can't stop thinking about it because I can hear it. Well, why don't you grab the other one and hook it up and do it now? Um, okay. Well, you continue to watch Carrie and uh, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I'll leave you with some pretty music. Uh -huh. Are we... What? I did. I thought you were muting or something. Well, I'm muting them out, but I'm muting this mic out. Okay. Oh, and I did not cut enough wire, but we should be able to do something with it. Ow. Alright. So, this one will only have four pedals. And it's going to be a bit boxy, but it is what it is. And where are I don't know what to do? You gotta work it. You gotta put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Mm. And while he's fiddling with the microphone, Miss Muena, you will have some uh, painty papers coming your way in the next day or so. So be on the lookout. I wanted to warn you. Didn't want you to think it was some bomb or something coming to, to your house. It's just painty paper. No ticking involved. <laughs> All right, then you can either leave the petals round or you can take and squeeze them, get them a little more oval shaped. Whoops. This one just looks like a pinwheel. Then take whatever you were using to form the loops and just bend them a little bit give them that petal shape and start cussing because it won't stay where I told it to it should know better 
I see. There we go. So yeah, a little short on the stem, but didn't turn out too badly, I guess. Moo's address is in the Happy Mail folder on the 70 Acres Art Flock. So, no huge secret, but go get it now if you really want it. As my handyman is banging on stuff. I had to mount the mic mounting for this on the other side because I couldn't plug it in <laughs> with it pointing towards you. Smart Mike. Shut up. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, and to hold these while they're drying, I found just a old piece of styrofoam that didn't really care what happened to it. I don't know what you could use these for, but the glue when it dries makes these little chips. But I don't know what what you could do with those. Haven't thought that hard on it, I guess. So put that over there. And again, just plain old wood glue. So let's see. Get you straight. Thank you, Don. I thought it was cute. I like the copper wire. I like the black wire too, but the copper is just hits me right in the feels. I like that. So nothing super secret. You just don't. Go ahead and talk to us, Gary. So, that's what it looks like when it's super wet. And it will drip the puddle. So, that's why I have such a messy piece of styrofoam. But you can tell when they're dry because it'll, it'll be very translucent. It'll be highly reflective. It'll, or it'll be almost transparent to where you can't see it. It becomes, it, it's just the wildest looking stuff with the first coat. So, another one. And drying time, it all depends on you know, where you're at. Maybe even the type of glue you're using, the size of the petals. The bigger butterfly wings felt like they took forever. Especially with the second coat, because with it pulling down in the center and puddling, took it a while. I'm still working on it, guys. Hold on. No, they're saying they can't hear me. Well, yeah, because I turned you down uh, when I switched over. All so right, I'm going to mute your mic out for just a second. So I can plug in the other one. All right, say something, Care. This one's fun trying to hold on to this really short stem. And if you're going to use styrofoam, the wood glue, like when it runs down the stem, and onto the styrofoam, it, it comes right off. You can pull it right up. You don't have to worry about it becoming, becoming permanently affixed. So, no worries there. I mean, you can see what it does. You can pull it off. And again, I don't know that I can use that for anything. 
I'm not that crafty. So, trash it is. All right. So, let's see. We have that one. And I just stuck my hand in glue. And those. All right, so how do I sound right now? I still know I'm picking up some uh, some echo from her mic. I'm going to try and fix that. Helen, I think it... It might. I'd be almost afraid. Well, with these smaller petals, it would might be all right. But the bigger, the bigger petals like this, it seems like the bigger the petal gets, the more finicky that glue can get. I mean, I was yelling at PJ to stop walking past my desk because when he walks, he bounces, and so does everything else. Yeah, it's it's a struggle. And I was so afraid that it was going to pop, especially when it started getting kind of dry. And your mom says echoey. Yeah, you know, I, I said, I know it's a little echoey. How does it sound? I know about the echo, Ma. <laughs> uh, we need about $150 to get her wireless uh, lab. Now your mom is saying I'm a touch too loud and echoey. All right, well, let's wait for the 30-second delay, apparently, to to get past. <laughs> I'm going to says you're annoying because I'm trying to pop my glue pedals. No obscenities. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Kiki was saying earlier about this, uh, this gun on my shirt. Uh, this is a Lassiter. It is a science fiction. It is no different than a lightsaber or anything like that. It's from Firefly. Hmm, would Mod Podge work? Well, we can certainly give it a go. I can make another one. Let me find my Mod Podge. So, Ma, after the, the delay and everything, uh, how do I sound? I mean, I know I'm still a little bit blown out. Let me go ahead and turn that down. How do I sound now? Other than echo, I know about the echo. All right, so Joyce isn't hearing Echo. Um, I'm still hearing Echo, so I know it's there because uh, I'm getting sure. earphones. You know, I'm getting you know right here in the board. So uh, I'll, I'll continue to work on it, but uh, it's an issue I know about. Thank you. <laughs> Mama B says, "I guess she wouldn't like my T-shirts. I guess by she she means oh. YouTube." Now, we like your t your t shirts. I don't think YouTube would would you know like them. Kelly, more. which Mod Podge would you like me to try? I have the dishwasher, I have the outdoor, and I have the regular gloss. I also have sparkle, but sparkly that that stuff is say for special occasions. Oh, for. F f Mom, I know Ma that Carrie should be the main focus. I I agree. But the thing is, her mic is the issue because she can't have a mic in front of her face like I do. It has nothing to do with giving my mic. This is her mic. That was my mic. It, they're the same mic. It's the fact that she can't have a mic in front of her face. That's That's the difference. So does that need to be closer is that what the problem is or is it still this no that's uh that i've got hooked up but only like that and it's causing a bunch of noise so uh hey judy all right kelly you said the regular so he's away lincoln you are like constantly in my way all right we shall do the black and while she's doing that i am going to uh <laughs> Uh, I was asking the chat room and you. 
Uh, I'm going to mute her mic out so I can get it closer to her. And I love you. Thank you. Hold on. All right, Kara, go ahead and give me a mic check. Should I look at it or can I look down at what I'm doing? <laughs> no, you can look down. Uh, Kimberly, I have a clip on mic and that's why we're having the issues. It's picking up every bit of noise, even though there really isn't a lot. I think it's making its own. Yeah, like this. All of that noise is coming from her mic. So it's disconnected. And uh, I did take your advice, Mom. Uh, we're not going to be able to use one of the cameras tonight because, uh, you know, it, it's it's pointed there now. Uh, <laughs> but, but we can see part of Put it back. <laughs> There's my dangle from Miss Helen. Miss Helen sent a happy mail to Carrie, and she loves it. She won't let me take it down, even though it's good. To, like if it, if we move the camera, it's going to show up in it. I don't She's care. She's like, I don't care. I don't like care. you can see it dangling right there on, I, on the left I, side. I want everybody to see it dangling. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're going to uh, we're going. To, I've got the mic right in front of her now, so it should be a lot better. And uh, so yay for that. And in the time being, uh, we just won't use that camera. Uh, Jada, it's hard to say how long they take to dry. Uh, one, the first couple I did, I was able to uh, put the second coat of glue on the same night, and that was during one of Mama B's live streams. So that would have been three hours. So I had dunked them in the glue like early on and then by the end of the sh her stream I was able to paint on the second coat so about three hours maybe so and moo says that uh they put up with your noise so oh, they can cope. come on moo <laughs> <laughs> I told you then I was dealing with a stomach flu. <laughs> God, you're never going to let me live that down. Oh, that's awesome. I love y'all. <laughs> I kind of do too, but you know, you make me feel self-conscious. <laughs> yeah. And Helen, yes, I love it. I, he, we have fought, I think, three times over the placement of that. And I keep <laughs> there's telling just him, no better way to put it. But I keep no telling him to suck my, and it's standing. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I, I know uh, to pick my battles, and this is one I'm not going to win. So. Yep. And if I was a braver person, I'd have him show the wall behind me because I have Mama B's chicken hanging up on the wall behind me. Actually, I can do that. Hold on. I took in a hot snotted a piece of ribbon. You said, I can't tell where my hand is, but you can <laughs> see where the, my shadow. There we go. There we go. Oh, reaching behind. And I got hot snotted a piece of ribbon. And hanging there very nice. Hot snot's doing its job. Cook, so I'm not complaining. Yeah. So it looks like we will be able to use this camera tonight. To show mamas, uh, you know, <laughs> boo. And uh, I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Apparently, yeah. <sighs> Dawn says better out than in. I definitely agree. It felt very good. But, I just didn't want it to be Don, on audio. But when you live with him, you wish sometimes he would keep it in than let it out. If I kept it in, I'd even be more full of shit than I am now. <laughs> 
I don't even know how that's possible. No, it is. Believe me, <laughs> it'll be coming out my ears. <laughs> get off there. That's what she said. I don't start. Bazinga. <laughs> Do not start. So, uh, who's ready for Friday's show? Cranky Crafters, right here, same time, and uh, same place, just different day. I have a feeling I will probably be like a deer in headlights trying to make a journal. After watching Mama B do it, I don't know how many times, and I've seen other streams. It, it, mm, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> uh no moo i don't shit when i fart but uh, you know you know what they say about a fart it's just the cry of a lonely turd, turd. yeah exactly god this does sound better <laughs> i just wish we could put that mic in front of your face all the time and use the wait a minute we can I don't want it in front of my face. It's not in front of your face. It's to the side. But, uh, yeah, I can actually remount the uh, the camera yeah. and we can still use it. So One of the things I hate about podcasting, having the mic in front of my face. Ugh, 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 ugh. How am I supposed to craft and podcast at the same time if I have <laughs> a microphone right in my grill? Uh, I don't know about you, Carrie. I really don't sometimes. What? Crafting is important. I know it is. But podcasting was important, too. Apparently not as important as uh, <laughs> crafty, uh, Cranky Crafters, <laughs> which we will be debuting on Friday. So uh, I, I, it's not much, but anyone want to hear the intro music? Oh, <laughs> I've got it queued up. It's ready to go. <laughs> Sorry, Moo. Don't mean to upset you. <laughs> We cover all the bases here. It's all part of life, one yes, way or another. Indeed. All right, there be the petals, kinda. Yeah, Joyce says, "Do your thing, Carrie. It might be original and inspiring." Hey, little C, how you doing? Thanks for showing up today. Hey, little C. All right, now we need a cup for dippage. Dip, 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 dip. So one good thing about acrylic pouring, always have a little cups. Yes. <laughs> I need to get a bigger bottle of this stuff. I agree, Mama B. It does reduce the murder rate. <laughs> and very true, Kim Marie, that is where poopy ideas come from. Alright, hopefully I have enough in here. That might get poured back in the bottle. Alright, you definitely, oh, that, I forgot how weird that stuff smells. Uh, you definitely need enough that you can totally submerge. I tried being stingy with my glue to begin with and just having enough in there, or so I thought. But it works much better when you can get... See, that might not be enough. Get on there. And... So far, so good. Cool. Let's check out that side cam. Nope. Now it's just too close. But whatever. We'll figure something out. People. Well, put it. Get. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Well, so far so good. My podge is working. Nothing's popped yet. It looks kind of thin though. Well. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll sit you over there. And so now we can keep track of it because, you know, well, as you can see, these are the ones that I just dipped and 
You can see how they're starting to get. Well, don't touch it, dum dum. <laughs> Try you, you lose your pers- your de- field or your depth perception. There we go. It's been a long day. Uh, when you're trying to watch what your hand's doing in a camera, uh, but it's starting to go clear. You can see it in some of the petals. So first dip, anyway. Hopefully, won't take too long. Little C, we are making or we are taking wire. We are making sh- flower petals. Show her the finished product. And. We are creating these. Uh, this is 20 gauge copper beading wire. And you know, I'm sure you can do it with other gauges. I wouldn't go up too much higher because, like I said, yeah, 18 it, or 20 should be even, fine. Even using this the first night that I was sitting here fooling with it, oh, my fingers hurt so much. A lot less than it did with the 20 gauge floral wire. Yeah. That yeah. stuff was tight. And then I was thinking that I have these buttons taking hot snot them in there. As you can tell, yes, I love my glue gun. Love it. Love you, it. you love your glue gun like Mama B likes her heat grenade. Well, my my go to for anything like that needs to have a little extra kick to it is my glue gun um otherwise this is my favorite i absolutely love this stuff we just love got it. an eight ounce refill for yes it. it is so worth the price i love this stuff but um yeah figure a little little dab will do it and stick it right there and add a little more bling that and i don't know what else i would use these buttons for so <laughs> <laughs> and again you know you can Get creative with it. Maybe, you know, you could leave the stem real long and you could probably even do, well, it would be kind of hard to, unless you can figure out a genius way of sitting them after you dip them and put a flower on the other end real long, get like a glass vase that, you know, or a votive holder and you could take and probably wrap these around a votive holder just to give it a little pizzazz if it's just like a straight up glass one yeah clear glass now kiki in the uh, chat room she says that uh, you could use 22 or 24 gauge isn't that a little too thin 20 wouldn't that be thick no no the lower the gauge i I don't this is my first wire experience that's why i am explaining (laughs) it to you (laughs) first one that's why i explain it to you lucy i don't know i know as soon as i put this back in a bottle they're gonna pop and i have to pour them back out so well that's no good no that's a no bueno all right so we are going well I need more styrofoamy. Can you go and get me another piece of styrofoam? Aren't you just awesome? Now I got scissors. There you go. I haven't seen Nightbot in here today. Let's, uh. Crazy old Nightbot. Yeah, no kidding. Place that back over yonder. No, sit that there. That way they're not over by the wet glue after I put paint or polish on them, whatever I plan on doing. So let's see, that one we've already used. Feeling like I want pink for some strange reason. Um, I want that one. I want to see this. See what it looks like once it's shook up. Yes, <laughs> I, I, I actually prompted that, Carrie. <laughs> Moose and a moot. Mike. Yeah, uh, I should just start calling you Rose. Ooh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I think that was fight words. <laughs> She's gonna get you. Alright. Haven't used a lot of these in like years, so I don't remember what they look like. That's a little too transparent. That would take forever to get enough coats on it. Oh yes I did, Helen. <laughs> yes I did. Yes. I did. <clears throat> yes. Oh, you're shaking. Okay. I see how it is. Doobie doo. I'm a working on the night bot all live long day. Yeah, da 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 da. Yes, I am jelly over your graphics tablet, Moo. <laughs> Helen says blue, blue, blue. But you just spent all that time shaking that. And I got a sparkly, bluey green color. And I have a really dark blue. Which one, Helen? Left, middle, or right? And now we wait. <laughs> well, I'll just start shaking all three of them while I'm waiting. <laughs> uh oh. Look out, Darth Vader is here. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, I am your father. Middle, maybe. Okay, that's <laughs> glitter. Middle, maybe. Okay. And Carrie, little C says left. <laughs> Kim Marie says left. All right, people, we'll do both. How's that? <laughs> we will do both. And Moo said blue. blue. <laughs> you are such a smart ass, Moo, which is why we love you here at the Epiphany Craft Studio. All right, we'll do. The middle one first, and we shall do, we'll do the big boy. Why are you going to do me? No, oh, you're fine. Hey, I am the big boy here. Mm. What? See, so I'm not the only one, Helen. Your iPad shits, too. It's just a matter of... Painty painty. And this will take quite a few. But nail polish dries pretty quick. Yar. I'm feeling a little insulted. I asked who wanted to hear the Cranky Crafters intro, and nobody said anything. <laughs> Moose says we're awesome. I defer to Carrie on that one. Why? Because I think she's awesome. Oh, I'm awesome sauce. <laughs> hey, y'all said you wanted a camera for me. Well, you got one now. I don't know who said that. Uh, was it Kiki? Kiki, was it you? I don't think Kiki's that silly. <laughs> and I know Helen wants to see me. She likes my fro. Mm. I mean, come on. Take off the headphones. <laughs> it's a fro. I need a haircut really bad. Oh. See, Helen says, I do, I do, I do. Well, we know, we know Helen's crazy. Yes, which is why we love she's her. She's our kind of crazy, but she's still crazy. Exactly. Well, I, I have no room to talk, because 
crazy, and the definition has my picture next to it. <laughs> oh, that nail polish smells so good. Oh, no, it does. Yes, it does. I love the smell of nail polish. You are so weird. When I was in high school, I used to wear nail polish. Now, granted, And you just proved my point by finishing that sentence. Well, yeah, I know I'm weird. I never, <laughs> I, I, I never, you know, no, no, I, I never, I never denied it. All right, and we'll do the other blue on this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Red rules. <laughs> the two cameras make it look like totally two different vids in one. Uh, yes, I know. And check this, Moo. Hey. <laughs> And I can switch in between the side cam and the front cam with her, and she's can, shaking stuff can off camera. I answer a question. Can you, uh, of course, put a quirk in it for a little bit? Uh, yes. <laughs> Lil C, it depends on the nail polish. When I did this one, it took three coats to get it to be that poppy. Otherwise, it was still pretty clear. Um, the paint which this is color shift paint that was also three coats plus i did two coats of polyacrylic just because i like how it makes the paint pop i, I like how pam is insinuating that i need a brush you know brushes just make it poofier <laughs> like i can prove your point wrong if you like there's a brush about 15 feet away from me <laughs> like if you guys want to see an afro poof mm -hmm. i can do that Oh. I've got, like, Bob Ross hair in the making, <laughs> which is funny because, oddly enough, Carrie is wearing a Bob Ross t-shirt. But his his fro is very quaffed. It's very symmetrical. <laughs> it's not this fro. It's, it's not an it's, afro fluff. It's, it's a happy fro. It's a happy fro. What do you call mine, then? <laughs> Just rolled out of bed an angry fro. I promise you I did not. <laughs> oh, look at that. Uh, uh, Kim Marie tried to post a link. Uh, let me see what's going on here. I will do, 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 do. All right. And here is the darker blue. And then we'll do a pink. I'm, I'm going to take care of that, Kim Marie. I'm going to, uh, hold on. I'm going to make you, uh, there we go. Now you can post links, Kim Marie. Because uh, she posted a link, and she wasn't a, a, a wrench. She didn't have the moderator flag. So she got put in the no-no corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else want to post links, just let me know, and I'll take care of you. Because, you know, why not? Spread the wrenches. We've got plenty to spare. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why it thinks you posted a link. I, I don't know. That's so stupid. Nightbot's getting high on these uh, nail polish fumes. Man, I wish I was a little closer. I could join them. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, when I wake up and look at the mirror, this is what I sound like. <coughs> it's a struggle. It's a struggle, huh? Scooby -doo -doo. I can also turn off the Nightbot uh, spam interp in, in, interpreter that uh, makes it think people are posting links. So this polish, because it's not trying to be all glittery, will probably, I could probably stop at two coats, but why? I like, I don't mind painting it, and I don't ever probably plan on wearing that nail polish again. So... We'll put that there so I remember. And we shall do a pinky poo. Someone who doesn't have a wrench, post a link, see if it works, because I just disabled it. Now, YouTube might not let you post links, but it won't put you in timeout either. <laughs> yeah, Jade, I think he is PMSing. Who, Nightbot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have I ever worked in radio? Uh, I <laughs> thanks, Wanda. Yes, thank you, Wanda. Uh, <laughs> or actually, uh, Kimberly. 
Uh, yeah, because Wanda didn't say that. Kimberly did. <laughs> but I'll, I'll forgive you because, well, you're arting. Uh, yeah, I've actually run two online radio stations. Uh, I DJed on both. I have done a podcast on and off with Carrie for the last three years. I just ended that on Friday because arting is more important. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yes, I've worked in radio. I've also done health webinars for a company called Interactive Health, uh, which is the company I work for. Uh, I'm their IT guy, but I also do voiceover work for them and audio production. So, yeah, I'm an audio guy. I'm a, I'm a radio guy. Thank you. And now back to the show. And Helen said we are supposed to stop making her laugh because she's got two outlaws giving her dirty look. Well, she can get all the dirty looks she wants. She's probably not listening on earphones, so they're going to hear this. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hello, Miss Helen Hampton's outlaws. Mm -hmm. You should probably treat her a little better and not talk bad about her because she, she, she doesn't like that. She's awesome. She is fantastic. And we'll probably just get her in trouble. <laughs> I should say you just got her in trouble. Uh, I don't know. You you responded to it first. <laughs> uh, I don't know how I blew out a speaker in your tablet. Maybe you just had it turned up too high. Well, that's what we're here for, Diana. We post the live streams uh, directly after they are streamed, so you can watch it afterwards. But essentially, we're doing some uh, some really cool stuff that Carrie's never done before, and I am totally a fan of it. We can't hear you anymore. I know. I'm trying to get paint. Okay. Here, let me... I don't know. <laughs> Kiki said, oh dear, PJ, welcome to YouTube where you came to make crafting videos. <laughs> you know what? One of the only things I wanted when I started the, 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 the radio stations and the podcast network, uh, which also is, is uh, ending uh, as, as you know, this week, uh, just because I don't have time for it. And it's just me running everything and managing like seven different shows. And it's just it's it's too much for one person. And I couldn't ever find another person to help run it. So anyway, the reason I got into that is to have something that Carrie and I could share together. It was to have a passion project that we could share. And well, it wasn't podcasting or radio, but it is art. And I'm totally infatuated with her uh, talent and stuff. <clears throat> Kimberly's trying to post a web address and it won't let her. Okay. Uh, yes, that is because YouTube is blocking it, but at least you're not getting put in timeout. Uh, you should be able to post uh, web links now. Hey, Arlena, how are you? What now? Can you go get my uh, palette thing so I can pour some paint out? Please. Sure, I'll be right back. Okay. That's my bud. Hey, Emily. Oh, Emily's here. I was hoping you would stop by because I wanted to warn you, Miss Emily, to be on the lookout. You have... <laughs> You're blocking. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a package headed your way. I wanted to warn you, it is not a bomb. There will be no ticking. And uh, It's a bomb. <laughs> hopefully you'll enjoy and have fun with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What hey, Emily, I got to say, your, uh, your advent calendar, man, that thing is nice. And what you did today with the bottles, that was cool. Yeah. I enjoyed my office day a lot more because of it. I wish I could have continued watching it, but watching videos in at your desk is a no-no. Whereas I have a TV in my office. 
Must be nice. It is very nice, especially since I had it installed. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My excuse was, and it's not an excuse, it's a validated reason. Um, we had uh, the need to monitor our network stuff. Uh, like, for example, if a server goes down, there's a program that you can use to monitor that stuff. So I wanted to have it up on the TV. So if something goes down, we see it. And uh, it just so happens it also has YouTube and Netflix and everything else on it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The reason uh, we were asking people to post links, SAS Ephrastication, I don't remember your first name. I'm so sorry. Um, it, my brain's going with age. <laughs> is uh, <laughs> It's uh, basically so we could test out to make sure that Nightbot wasn't uh, blocking people and putting them in timeout. Uh, if you do want to post a link, let me know, though, and I'll, uh, I'll allow it. So, yay. So just so people know, Carrie, what, uh, what type of brush are you using? What type of paint are you using? It's a paintbrush. <laughs> Is it anything special? That's what I was asking. No. That's all I was getting at. No, I think it was like one of those packs of brushes you can get at like Hobby Lobby that has like 12 different types of brushes in it. And they're relatively cheap. But they're surprisingly halfway decent brushes <laughs> uh, the paint is this one is the deco art dazzling metallics and amethyst which so happens to also be my birthstone so yes it is yay for that <laughs> uh, diana just said that uh she says i reckon pj could get away with telling horror stories over the radio, and I would have nightmares for weeks. But his voice is so nice to listen to. And, and you know what else I could like ask you to get me? <laughs> what can I get you, baby? Uh, my little uh, cup of water so I can clean my brush and some paper towels. Uh, sure, I can get that for you. Yeah. After these messages, I'll be right back. Thank you. Yay for purple. That'll definitely... Uh, what did you do? What do you think I did? I uh, sprayed myself. Uh, uh, did you get paper towel? No, I did not get paper towel. You didn't ask me. I did so. Oh, well, I was too busy spraying I myself. have witnesses that said... That will know I said paper towels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He always tries to pull, say that it's just because I'm crazy and I didn't actually do it. Can't but say you that are now. Crazy. Yeah, well, that's beside the point. What star sign? I am an Aquarius. Aquarius. And I do believe I was born in the age of Aquarius, so I had a double whammy on that one. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> Crystal says, oh, Lord, you're going to scare her kid. So, <laughs> so knock it off. <laughs> but it's so fun. It's, if you happen to have any wire around, Emily, that's all you really need and wood glue. I'm sure you have fingernail polish or acrylic paint laying around somewhere. Hey, Happy Ray, how are you? I saw you today in Emily's channel. Uh, what date? It would have been the 12th. Good old Abe Lincoln's birthday. Yeah. So, me and Abe on the 12th. <laughs> Helen's egging me on. She says, love it. Do more, PJ. No. <laughs> I just like laughing. It sounds so weird. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> stop. All right, fine. I will stop. Oh, so it looks like Moo is a Libra as well. So is Kim Marie. Yeah. I'm a Cancer, but I really don't follow all of that astrology stuff. And Helen's a Capricorn. That's January, yes. 
January is Capricorn. Oh, wow. Oh, me and Dawn are Aquarii. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you feel better, uh, Ray. Uh, that's that's never a good thing. Um, um, I oh. I'll oh, hope he's doing better, rather. What star sign? I don't know. What is that? That is star. That's oh, okay. What she so means. cancer? Yes. Okay. Okay. And what year, as in Chinese year? I was born near the... Do um... I'm 80, so I don't know what the hell that is. I think we were born in the same year, weren't we, Helen? No, I, she, well, yeah, I don't know. I was 71. I can't remember. I've looked at that before. I can't remember. I think it's something like a monkey <laughs> or something. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I used to know. So now that I'm back... At my station. Do you need me to leave my station and get anything else? <laughs> Don't tempt me. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to tempt you. Huh. I'm trying to be your, uh, your, um, you know, your attentive art bitch. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius. Yeah, my son's birthday is on the tenth. No, yeah. Yeah, 10th. December 10th. Ooh, God, I'm December 10th, 1994. Can't remember when my kid was born. December 10th, 1994. 80s monkey. Okay. So Helen was born in 70. So I don't know. Else. I don't know what 71 is. I can't remember. That so, looks like a melted dream sickle. Oh, yes. It, I, I almost want to eat it. That's just tasty. 97. Wow, moo. <laughs> youngin hey she's she's three years older than my youngest kid <laughs> she literally could be my kid well definitely could be mine well no shit Shirley <laughs> um, we'll do this. that Mr. PJ yes are you trying all right what trying what I don't I don't know what, what am I trying I'm trying. Oh, to be attentive at my art bitchery? Yeah, I definitely am trying. I have one that is biologically mine, Helen, and then PJ has one that's biologically his. And together we have four. Two furry and... And two furry babies. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like PJ's mother, so... Oh, come on! Mama hey, B Ray. is in the chat room being a parent from there. <laughs> She's she's too busy crafting. I'm the one that would have to wield the spoon if necessary. I know. And, you know, I haven't even seen her on the chat lately, so she must she's be probably, deep into craft. Yeah, she's probably making something. Yeah. I asked her to uh, set us up with a, uh, a list of things we'll need for Friday's show. Yeah. That's right. Kanky Crafters right here on Epiphany Craft Studio. I need to know so I can be prepared. Well, three. I can't even remember really what it's like to have a little one. Yeah, I I don't know that I could do uh, the whole baby thing again. Oh, uh. it, it was <laughs> it, it was definitely tough. Yep. I mean, it had its its upsides, but if I had to do the get up every couple hours feeding thing and stuff like that it, now with as tired as I am all the time now. I, I I I had a hard time when I was younger doing it. I can't even fathom how I'd react now. So it looks like uh, Mama B is trying to pack the backlog of packages. Same thing you were doing before the show. Uh, she's getting ready to put a lot of happy in the mail. <laughs> I 
Yeah, exactly, Helen. And I, with my son's birthday being the tenth of this month, and you know that's fifteen days before Santa Claus. You know, I never wanted him to feel like he was getting gypped. You know, by oh well, you can have you know one little present for your birthday, and you'll get everything else on Christmas. And so we treat it like it's Christmas isn't even in the picture. He gets. You know, taken care of for his birthday. He gets taken care of for Christmas. I used to hear it when I was a kid. Um, when I knew my birthday was rolling around, it's like, yeah, I want to get this. I, you know, I would like that. You know, because they would ask me, "What do you want?" Well, I want. Don't ask an early child what she wants. Everything. She will give you a list. <laughs> and uh, you know, oh, but you know, Christmas wasn't even two months ago. You know, can't you just. It's like, well, that's not my fault. I didn't tell you when to make me and have me. That was on you. You deal with it. You celebrate Christmas. You celebrate my birthday. Fair is fair. But no. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, Moo is asking, what is your your head? Uh and then she's correcting herself, of course, on your head. Uh, it is a Donegal uh, worn backwards. I don't like to wear ball caps, but I, I like Donegals. And I figured this was a better alter alternative alternative <laughs> to uh, having you guys submit to my uh, Afro poof. So, I mean, we can always go back to, you know, Carrie's cam so you can watch all the pretty things be made. Mm. Well, Carrie, that's a lot of birthdays around christmas your son your daughter both in january and your brother was in december that makes it hard for present shopping i get where my parents come from and i get where you know people in general come from that's especially anymore um kids just well people in general myself included we want everything for christmas <laughs> <laughs> Can you put it back over here so they can see? I sure can. As you can see, if I move like this, where, oh, there it is. <laughs> you can see where it looks like, oh, there's only little drips of glue there. That's just where it's happened, where it happened to like puddle up. Where it's clear, that's dry. And so that isn't popped because that looks popped. No, it's not popped. There's glue there. Wow. Now, what about the Mod Podge? How did that turn out? That one. Um, I hate cameras. And, and hey, oh, look at that. She'll get there eventually. But yeah, that's working still. So I guess Mod Podge for the win. So if you don't have wood glue and you have Mod Podge, there, there you, you go. go. It's Just don't do Elmer's. Thing. No, Don't Elmer's, do Elmer's. Elmer's is a no-no. It will not work. Elmer's can't handle it. I feel bad for anyone who's got a, a December birthday because they're always going to get gypped. Even if they're Jewish, you got the eight crazy nights and they're, they, you know, they're going to end up getting a crappy ninth gift. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our, our thoughts go out to a mama B 70 acres in the uh, chat room. Uh, she slipped on ice Monday and, uh, man, I didn't think there would be ice this early, but anyway, she was going down the stairs and twisted, uh, her, her ankle and sprained her wrist and, uh, man, it looks gnarly. She posted pictures on her Facebook page. Well, here's the thing to look forward to in, in all of the hurt and alleys is all of the colorful shades of purple <laughs> and blue. <laughs> and then eventually like the yellow do a pour. There, there's inspiration right there. God. What? You're twisted, Gary. <laughs> you get inspiration from wherever you can find it. Yeah, I hear you, hon, but you're still pretty twisted. I mean, yeah, well, my mom is in pain. Yeah, but I can't do anything for the pain, but I can maybe make her laugh by saying that. There you go. And hey, spark an idea. Hey. Epiphany. Hey, it's an, hey. epi an epiphany. Epiphany. <laughs> epiphany. So uh, here's a little bit of a story. Uh, I don't any, anyone who really catches up with Carrie and me on the podcast uh, that we used to do uh, up until uh, well Friday or Monday. 
used to did. Um, yeah. Um, we, um, we, we were, we've got two things that we're going for this, uh, in the, in the next coming months. Um, we've got, uh, we've got the fact that we're trying to get married. And, uh, at this point, it's just a matter of, uh, getting the, uh, the marriage license. Uh, you're excused. Can I unmute you now? Or are you still coughing? There's the answer. <laughs> Mama B says she's still a smart ass. I thought you were done. <coughs> uh, okay. All right. I'll, I'll give you one last chance. Uh, she says she's still a smart ass. Just a <coughs> oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Mama B says she's. All right. You know what? When you're ready to play nice for the mic, who <laughs> will unmute you? Uh, Mama B says she's a smart ass, just a sore one. But yeah, the two things we're trying to get done uh, in the next coming months is we're trying to get married. And uh, we are also trying to uh, buy a house. This is, this is our first house. We have been renting for way too long. So uh, what we're going to be doing is um, waiting until I get uh, a, a, a... Would you knock that off? Look, dude. <laughs> I cannot help that I choking on <coughs> bit my eyes are watering <laughs> uh joyce asked do we need any decorations i mean hey you can always send us happy mail i'm sure carrie will make something beautiful out of it or right. if it's already prepared we'll we'll display it in the studio um but no we're just going to do a justice of the peace uh wedding just so we can get it done uh now mama b if you want to be there as a witness you're more than welcome uh we can go out to dinner or treat afterwards but uh yeah uh, we're just you know we want to get it done it's we've been together for 15 years so we do just want to get the knot tied and uh damon i want to be able to wear the freaking ring i'll tell you that <laughs> she won't let me wear it until we're legally married and i hate uh, that duh <laughs> yeah kiki something did go down the wrong way she was taking a uh she was she was taking a swallow break in it and it went down the wrong hole and it <coughs> now it just keeps tickling and i think it's like a reflex so I just want to keep coughing. I mean, tears are literally running down my face from trying to not <laughs> cough. Oh, come on, Sean. Usually I'd say, hey, Sean's here. But uh, he's making fun of me on his first post. <laughs> we have to listen to PJ normally, and now we have to see him? Well, fine. There you go, Sean. Just so you'll know, you're, not a bomb. You're 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 putting out his address i'm sorry i forget <laughs> i just think we're all friends and no harm no foul i'm sorry that oh, i'm choking yeah she's choking because she swallowed wrong earlier and uh so oh. yeah but yes we've got a new production set up here in the studio uh sean so uh thank you for that i'll i'll be sure to uh take the take my camera and throw it out the window how about that would that make you happy <laughs> <laughs> we can control PJ's choking. How tight do we squeeze? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> if you squeeze me this hard, I will end up sounding like this. And that's not good. <coughs> All right. How about this? Let's put some music on and we'll mute her out. Let her get a drink break. Do you need a drink? Or are you going to be good? I think she's okay. Face my nose running now. <laughs> Woo! That was fun. <clears throat> okay, so people actually have it. Because we didn't see it in Mama B's group in the 70 Acres Art Flock. So we just kind of assumed it was private. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good he's cool with it uh so sean says when is this happening as soon as we can it's just a matter of uh finding time so we can take off work get the marriage license and then three well, days later we get to just go to the jfp what if i want to be single a while what if i want to kick your ass out of that no i would never do that <laughs> not anymore not again not anymore <laughs> yay <laughs> yes i've got a soundboard uh <clears throat> it's actually pretty rad <clears throat> that is my good old Behringer. <coughs> you might uh, want to mute. 
Um, <laughs> all right. I am muting. Are we ready? No, we're not. Be for a minute. Helen says, holy crap, woman, more happy mail. Is there anyone you're not sending to? Um, you. Because we already sent you happy mail. Uh, well, that was uh, painty papers from the night that I did the jelly plate. Yeah. And Emily and Sean, they all said they wanted, they they were they liked it, so we figured, or Carrie figured, let's send them something. And uh, Moo is just awesome, and so figured random act of kindness, because her uh, description in the 70 Acres Happy Meal thing says that she does lino, which I know. But she also said she wanted to try it on some painty paper, so she has some headed her way. I sat <clears throat> last night during Mama B's stream, which is why, <clears throat> excuse me, getting ready to cough again, um, why I'm usually so quiet when Mama B streams. If I'm quiet, I'm, I'm working on something. So I was adding some uh, interest to some of the papers because, while pretty, they were kind of plain, so... Tried to make them look a little better. <laughs> <clears throat> Sean says, thank you, thank you. I'm muting you out so you can blow your nose or cough or whatever. <laughs> yep. She's like, yep, good call. <laughs> you going to be okay? Do I need to call 911? This is apparently is hard work. <laughs> <laughs> it's got me all choked up. Ah. Uh. Uh, but yeah, the second thing that we are wanting to do is buy a house. And today I got a rather substantial check from my old employer uh, back from five, six years ago. It was an early pension withdrawal that uh, I spoke to a, uh, a financial uh, advisor of mine. And uh, she said, no, it's time. You need to get a house and this will definitely be a house. Um, so uh, we've got it. We put it in the bank today. And uh, so in the next couple of days, it'll go through and I'm actually already talking to a mortgage broker right now because uh, apparently you need one of those before you can go see a realtor. And uh, we're getting pre-approved as we speak. My credit was pulled today. So hopefully we will be moving to a house that has a really badass studio just for Carrie's art. Oh, Don is in the house. <clears throat> Don Grumba. Hey, Don. Or Grubba. Grubba. There's no n. Grubba. Thanks for lurking. Grubba. I appreciate even the lurkers. Yeah. Hey, uh, Little Craft Creations. That's uh, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Melissa? Michelle. Michelle. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Hey, you doing, Michelle? Sorry, I'm all choked up on something here. <laughs> I gotta say, the lines <clears throat> that came out of, I guess, the gluing, the glue drying process... They really make it look like there's veins in those flowers. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, trying so hard not to cough. Oh, uh, how about this? I'll mute out, you cough, okay? Uh, Is it like vomiting where you're just going to hold it back and, and fight it the entire time? Yeah. Uh, she's so stubborn, people. That's why I love her. But. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, eyes are tearing up. I can't hardly see what I'm doing. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. It's been a long time coming. I've never bought a house, uh, which is good because I might apply for the FHA stuff uh, that'll get us a cheaper price. But uh, I'm going in with a, a really nice down payment. And uh, I, I just I can't wait to be able to like build shelves and put them on the wall because I've got the tools. And well, hey, we own the house uh, or the you know the bank owns the house and we pay the bank. But it's better than renting. <clears throat> How are you, Andrea? Hey, Andrea. Sorry if I missed you coming in. I was choking on air or something. I swear I was not choking her. Whew. 
So, um, for anyone who just came in, uh, Carrie and uh, Mama B, Melissa Bishop, 70 Acres Studio, we have a brand new show that's coming out this Friday right here on this channel. So, as a matter of fact, this link, if you go to this link on Friday, it does show, well, maybe not this link, but the live link, uh, it'll work. Uh, and you'll be able to see Mama B and Carrie making some beautiful art. What are we doing on Friday, Care? Gonna make me talk. <clears throat> um, well, you know, if you're gonna fight it, might as well talk it through. Yeah, so I'm really starting <clears throat> coughing. Uh, Mama B is going to try and teach me how to make my first journal. Now, I have no doubt that she can teach. How to make a journal? I just question my ability to be able to learn how to make a journal. So we could have all kinds of hilarity ensue. Because who knows what it'll end up looking like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, a couple of comments in the chat room. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carrie, uh, little C, Carrie Plaster wants to know: Is the new house going to have a? Uh, uh, is it going to be bigger? And oh yes, it's it's got to be bigger. This house that we live in is nine hundred and fifty square feet, and the basement is unfinished and unsuitable for living because it's not sealed. It's from nineteen fifty five, and uh, well, our landlord is kind of slummy, so like nothing has been done to improve this house. Uh, except replacing the windows that they did okay with the doors however they put the cheapest doors we don't even have a peephole in our front doors or a window or a window they took the old doors that had windows out so um yeah uh now kelly wood says we bought in march and think a sewer inspection is a great idea we are going to have a full home inspection <clears throat> on any home we we look into buying uh just so we're covered so we know what we're gonna what we're gonna need to know uh, about the house and uh that includes a sewer inspection uh hopefully we will be on city hopefully <clears throat> Sean's back is still killing him. That sucks. I'm sorry, Sean. We know about back pain, man. It's it's horrible. Um, CBD rub will work. THC oil works a hell of a lot better, though, if you can get it and are morally okay with the fact that it's, well, marijuana. Um, uh, that's pretty much the only thing that worked for my mom's pain, and it's the only thing that really worked for my pain when I had back issues. So, but then again, I'm okay with the fact that I have smoked pot in my lifetime and it's just something I'm okay with because it's natural and, uh, yeah. Sean says, those flowers are cool. Well, thank you, sir. I just watched the video on how to make them. Oh, cool. The, the one we posted on Facebook or from Facebook. Oh man, they're talking about breathing tubes and surgeries and necks and stuff. You can you can talk about that for days, can't you? I'd rather not. When she can talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can man. I get you a tissue? Yeah, probably wouldn't hurt. Maybe right. that'll help stop the cough. All right. Well, um, just so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna I'll be right back then. Am I muted? Well, <coughs> she'll be right back, guys.
Sorry, people. I had to blow my nose. Didn't think you all would want to hear that. Bad enough you hear me coughing. Bad enough they heard me farting. <laughs> <laughs> that was still comedy gold, in my opinion. Uh, uh, Sassafrasication. Wow, that's an awesome name. Uh, she needs to get a bite to eat. So you guys have uh, you you guy you, you guy <laughs> you have a <laughs> yeah I I can't speak apparently. Uh, you Sassafrasication have a wonderful night, and we hope to see you soon. <clears throat> what are you doing? <coughs> well, try not to do that. Other than that. And, uh, putting second coats on. Ah, very pretty. Carrie? Yes? Would you be averse to having one of those, uh, uh, single earpiece that has the bar that comes down in front of your mouth instead of a, instead of a clip-on mic? Um, because that would be completely directional, and it should be a lot better quality. <clears throat> it would depend, I guess, on the how it feels. I don't know. Yeah, Sean says he wants a sidekick when I do my lives. <clears throat> Sorry, Sean, this guy is uh, completely taken by <clears throat> that gal over there. But thanks. Certainly makes life a lot easier. Oh, sure. Especially when I've got a little bit of talent in the art department. I Hey, you guys saw it. I poured. I did. I poured. Oh, so I guess sassafrasication is Judy. Judy. We will have to remember that. Judy. Think she'll Judy. mind if I call her judge? Judy. Judy, Judy. I don't know why I have a mental block on that. I know she has told us that before. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, she doesn't mind if uh, Kim Marie doesn't mind if we, we if we sing uh, Mary Poppins all the time when she shows up. <laughs> Speaking of, we didn't do that tonight. Yeah, I know. At first, that's how I knew <laughs> that's how I could get her name out right without butchering it. Yeah. But in my head, I was singing the song. So I was like, eh, I might as well say it out loud. <laughs> Hey, in case you're wanting to move, Carrie, uh, the cost of living in Springfield, Missouri, is uh, cheap. Oh, is it now? And and I, well, yeah, that would take care of a house, but we would both the... be leaving our jobs <laughs> with no perspectives. And I'd rather keep my job. That and my kid is 140 miles away, as is my youngest son, and I'd like to keep that as little as possible when it comes to additional mileage. Joyce's daughter is Fart Blossom. <laughs> My number one son is Spout is Powder or Pooter? Pooter Bud. Pooter Bud. Okay. <clears throat> Youngest is Fart Smeller. Oh, God. I call my, my dog Poot. Uh, uh, uh. And Toot. Kim Kimmery. Kim Kimmery. Kim Kimmeru. <laughs> there you go. Now you don't have to miss that, Kimmery. I really wish you would shake that nail polish on camera. Why? I don't know. Give people motion sickness. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Those look really good, Care. I gotta say. Thank you. You're welcome. Care, uh, little C says, loving the dark blue, it's the prettiest. This one is actually pretty, 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 kind of pretty, sort of pretty, I say, is pretty. I say pretty, pretty. It's just not picking up on the camera very well. And it smells wonderful. No, it, it doesn't. Does. I love the smell of nail polish. I like the smell of nail polish remover, too. I'm it's weird. so weird. All right, am I that weird, yeah. guys? Uh, now, I, here's another one. I like the smell of unleaded gasoline. Anyone else? You are weird. <clears throat> Helen says, so love them all. 
Thank you, Helen. No, I can't remember where I started. So uh, we just sent some happy mail to Helen, and uh, it's going to hopefully allow her to uh, do some pretty art stuff in the future. So hopefully we'll be able to see her doing some art. That would be awesome. Uh, Sean wants to do one, in, just wants you to do one in his favorite color. And what color is that? Clear. Clear? <laughs> yeah. Because he's a smart aleck, apparently. I can tell. Well... This is as clear as they get. Yeah. Huh. Although the Mod Podge looks like it's going to be crystal clear. That's oh, going to be awesome. That is going to be Thank badass. Thank you for suggesting to try that out there. That was Yeah, that's awesome. awesome. All minute. right. Kimberly <clears throat> agrees on gas, but not polish. <clears throat> clear? Right. Okay. I was just arming the mute button in case. It might be a little say. Oh. Whew. This is running again. Mm. Well, I have to see you. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> Never used to bother me, but I guess things can change. When was the last time you actually put any on? I. Used it the other night on the other thing and All it right. didn't bother me. True, true. Crystal says condom color. What's with the condoms here? Because I made a comment <laughs> saying that the, the big I know, I know. wings look like a what? I know. <clears throat> so i guess i'll be dropping off the uh well we can you you get off before me so you probably should drop off the uh happy mail at the post office she's shaking her head no <laughs> Sean is reminding me that the last time you used toe, uh, nail, nail polish was uh, last week on my toes. Last week on your toes? How the hell did you see? I, I thought I didn't even see a camera in front of me when that happened. Uh, he also says gas smell reminds him of Summers working at uh, a marina gassing boats up. Man, that would have been a good job. Minus the part where you're out in the sun because I, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a bit of a ginger. I mean, look how white. <laughs> I mean, Brandy Lynn is always commenting on how white my legs are. They're like this. They're flounder belly. Yeah, it's 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 not good. <clears throat> Michelle wants to know if anyone has a good recipe on air dry clay. Mm. We haven't done any clay. Mm -mm. Not yet. I know it's coming. <laughs> and if we do, if we start doing clay. You have got to let me redo the 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 the, the ghost scene. Oh, I do not have. Uh, you um, you got to let me swayze you. No, I do not have a uh, the wheel thing. I know, yeah, a pottery wheel. <clears throat> Helen <laughs> says she likes this. She loves the smell of crafty chemicals. So, am I really wired or just wired? Weird. Dude. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Dude. I misread that. <laughs> it's not white. It's porcelain colored. Hmm? What, your arm? Yeah, I guess. I guess. So she's calling me a porcelain doll, huh? Mm -hmm. Not the shoe fits. The porcelain doll shoe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Mama said she, uh, uh, 70 Acres said she ordered some li Lino, Lino to uh, carve my stamps. That, I cannot wait to see, Ma. That's going to be really cool. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Watching wa watching uh, Moo do the uh, the Lino, Lino. How do you say it? Lino? 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 Lino. 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 Okay. Well, watching uh, Moo do the Lino was really, really cool the other day. I enjoyed that.
<clears throat> well, thank you, Joy. They're definitely fun, and the whole painting process is really very cathartic and calming. <clears throat> Especially so, when she has to deal with me all the time. It's almost too calming after the day I had. <laughs> I was already tired. This is just like, mm. maybe the coughing is a blessing because it's keeping me awake. Okay, so 70 Acres says Lynn O. Lynn O. Lynn O. Okay. I thought, it, uh, I, yeah, so it's not line, no? Apparently not. Oh, okay. Tomato, potato. Did you say tomato, potato? Yes, I did. You're so weird. Okay, so Kiki also says, not lie, no, it's Lin O, like linen. Huh. You know? Uh. The more you know. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, it's from linoleum. That totally makes more sense now. Because I guess the material is linoleum. Huh. I have no idea. Last time I did that, I was in elementary school. Same here. Yeah, yeah well, for me, elementary school was... Filled with ass kicking. 40 years ago. You're really showing your age there, making me feel like a, a, an old person. You? Yeah. How is that making you feel like an old person? Um, because it's been quite a while for me, too. <clears throat> Carrie Plaster says she's doing, uh, she does nylon flowers like the ones you're doing. Carrie, I would love to see that. Nylon. Nylon, yes. Huh. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Pam Taylor says, almost all redheads are uh, too pale of skin to be in the sun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, my kid is full-on ginger, and he plays, <laughs> like, football and baseball. So he's always in the sun, getting sunburnt and, and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, he's he's definitely an outdoors kid. Well, I guess that's why gingers have the built-in uh, sunscreen of just turning Freckles. into one big freckle. Yeah. I have got tons of freckles. I you've, have a few. You've got a few. <clears throat> I like your frecks. My frecks. Your frecks. I'm quite fond of her frecks. Oh. I think we need some kind of music here. No. No? It's just so silent. There's no background noise. Turn the dishwasher on. I don't want to turn the dishwasher <laughs> on. Uh, uh, uh. He is so handsome, PJ. You should be proud. I am very proud, Helen. Yeah, he he's my boy, and I'm very proud of him. He they won the state championship. I was just so elated, and I was just so happy to be there with Carrie and Mama B and, and Grandpa. Uh, well, my dad, his grandpa. Huh. Rit die. Use that to tie dye stuff when I was a kid. Yeah. Hell, I would still use it today if you'd allow me to wear tie dye. Wear tie-dye, then. <laughs> I don't tell you you can't. All right, fine. Freak? I am a freak. Thank you. Freak. Thank you very much. <clears throat> and the one good thing about having so many, and as slow as I'm moving, I guess, because I'm tired, by the time I get through doing a coat, this is dry, and I can go back through. 
I think. Whoop. Ooh, that could have been a fail. This one, I think, will work with just the two coats. Now, are you going to do any hot snotting with the gems in the middles? No, not tonight. Aww. I can't hardly see what I'm doing. I don't need to burn myself. Yeah. And this actually looks pretty good with just two coats. I love it. And I got to say, I love how it's bent back like a real petal. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Here. Great touch. Uh, Helen says, uh, do you get along with your dad? Uh, yeah, um, dad, my dad, Sanjay, uh, he's my stepfather, but he's my dad. Uh, he uh, He's amazing. I love him to death. He is very analytical and very dry with the humor, but he's a funny guy, and uh, he loves me. I love him, and uh, yeah, yeah, so we get along great. Uh, that and we're both very, very technical people. So we're always, uh, you know, going back and forth, uh, looking at reviews on stuff and, and uh, doing research on stuff together. So, yeah, it's, it's really cool to get that that bonding there with someone who's very, very smart. Um, now, my biological father, I have no contact with. So that's where I'll end that statement. And how do you know Sanjay loves you? Has he told you? How do you know it's not just a real strong kind of liking? He, that would explain the lack of hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's delve into your daddy issues. Oh, we? come on, honey. <laughs> I don't delve into your go mommy down, issues. Go lay down on the couch and we'll we'll have a therapy. If session. I lay down on the couch, you won't have an art bitch. You ever think about that? Who's going to switch the cameras? Who's going to get you refills on water, huh? I don't need refills and the camera well, can stay where it is. The only switching you're doing is to yourself. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that, that does make sense. Ooh, Sean's uh, got tie-dye curtains uh, in his room. That's awesome. He also likes Sanjay, too. So, uh, And now, Helen, you said you were talking about my biological father. Uh, no. No, we don't. Not at all. Uh, that's, again, that's where I'm ending that statement. <laughs> So close to being dry. All right. I think we'll do another coat on this one. Yeah, Sean says, who will get you tissues? I still have some, thank you. Yeah, but that's only because I gave you a whole roll. <laughs> and yes, by tissues, I, I mean to toilet paper. Hey, if it's soft enough for one end, it'll work on the other. <clears throat> Kiki has uh, uh, ish, uh, some similarities between me and her husband when it comes to daddy uh -huh. issues. I had daddy issues for the longest time, and now I just I, I have dad, my Sanjay, my 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 furry guy. The dadums. The dadums, yes. Dadums. Oh, looks like Crystal's got to go. Aww. I mean, everyone's got to eat sometimes, so Please. we don't we don't blame you, Crystal. We see hope you, to Crystal. see you soon. That's messed up, Kiki. Uh, the uh, the father uh, it, it refused to acknowledge the grandson, uh, his uh, her her son. Why take it out on the child? It makes no sense. At all. Well, it's like uh, Jamie's biological father yeah, pretty well. much didn't want anything to do with him because he has autism and he's deaf or very partially. hard. Yeah, partially deaf. And I don't see that as a bad thing at all. I mean, Jamie's a great kid and I love him to death. And his best feature is he has my winning personality. Yeah, Joe Joy. <laughs> I don't know that you'd call that a feature, more of a bug. <laughs> <laughs> It works for you because you're an artist, so you can be a douche and everyone's just like, oh, no, she's 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 an artist. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, uh, dad uh, cracking up, uh, dad making me crack up. That's that's a normal occurrence, especially when. Uh, Sorry, Don, I tend to <laughs> forget. <laughs> It's not like you can't see the camera on your screen. I made sure I'm, When I'm working, I'm like that. I can't help that the camera isn't where hmm. my hands are. I see like how it. I put it on the camera? Yeah. Being yes. the camera's fault? 
yeah, yeah, sure. Because yeah, blame. It's called dif- uh, refl- uh, di- 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 diflection. Yeah, diflection. But uh, yeah, uh, Kiki. When my father dies, when my biological father dies, I I I will be glad only because he won't be able to hurt me anymore. Um. So that yeah. But I really uh, I I prefer that we not talk about my biological father. Um. So uh, just you know, just because why drag everyone down? <laughs> Carrie said, uh, "Little C says I can't see your hands either, Big C." <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> we'll have to get like a clip on, like a GoPro clip on for your wrist. Oh. <laughs> no. You know you can take off that. I'll tell you what. I'll take off the. Uh, Just mic. leave it be. Are you sure? Because we're not using it. I'm not moving. True. I'm just. I can see better if I hold it here. Yeah, but we Holding can't see. Holding it here is hard for me to see what I'm doing. Well, I don't know if you know this, but we couldn't see it there either. You got to go right in the <laughs> middle. Uh, look, I can only do what I can do. Okay. And what I can do ain't much. No, what you can do is a hell of a lot, and we love it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have all these fine people here watching but, you. See, this one's starting to get better now that it has its third coat on. I what are you doing? When you do that, I can't see the screen. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so. Jeez. Uh, this this one, unfortunately, will need probably a couple more coats. Yeah. Now, what about the little ripples in the leaves? Uh, they kind of look like stretch marks. Um, are, are those going to go away the more coats you use? N- not unless they get super thick. Gotcha. And that's from when you're doing the second coat of glue, it brings that first I, I don't want to say it reactivates it because it doesn't turn totally liquid it's almost like a pudding skin okay that makes once sense. it gets that second coat on so you kind of have to gingerly put it on and you for me anyway the best way i found to do it is to have a decent amount of glue on the brush yeah. so that it's more a matter of just kind of moving it around to cover it than to try and you know, spread it evenly. Gotcha. Hey, Emily, you have a great night. Night, Emily. Get some good sleep. Anyone who is uh, interested in uh, an advent calendar and some really good jewelry skills, uh, Emily's definitely got it. Go check out her channel by clicking the three dots next to her name. Okay. Oh, night, little say. Uh, Carrie's going too? I don't Aww. blame you. I'm hey, hey. Call it night, night time too. It's been a long day, dude. It has been. I do agree with that. And then we got some, uh, some pudding to eat ourselves. Uh, huh. Not just pudding skin, but the whole pudding. The whole pudding. The whole pud. And this poor little flower's been off the edge. Uh, it's Payne's gray. <laughs> I love Payne's gray. That's awesome. Uh, Joyce is asking if we can get rid of the bot, the banner at the bottom of the screen. Um, well. I mean, we could, but it's it's kind of there just to make it pretty. All right, thinking because if I'm holding it, oh no, that's here. not gonna. No, that's not gonna. Yeah, no, you just need to get a little closer. That's all. Oh lordy! Yes. Well, that was nice, Emily. She closed the door on her way out. <laughs> Thank you for that, M. I didn't want the draft getting. <laughs> So, uh, in case you want any more information about uh, the lovely Carrie over here, uh, you can find all you need to know um, on uh, epiphanycraft.com. You can also go over to her Facebook page at facebook.com slash epiphanycrafter. And, uh, yay. No, 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 it's advertising. Meaning the banner. Yes, the banner is advertising. It's advertising her Facebook page and her name in case you all forgot it, even though it's not her given name yet. <laughs> yet i just didn't want to have to make two banners that's all it's blocking her view <laughs> there you go it's not really showing you much of anything you wouldn't have seen otherwise but i turned it off for right now because we love you joyce um <laughs> so that's i guess we're gonna wind down uh for tonight's episode uh stay tuned for friday again we are going to be doing our first episode of cranky crafters with mama b that's 70 acre studio 
and who doesn't have pudding apparently, but that's her own damn fault. We can't get you everything, especially with the mileage <clears throat> difference. Um, Carrie, what do you got going on next Wednesday on the show? I have no clue. Well, that's good that we know that now. So we've got to <laughs> we've got to figure it out. If you guys have any requests, hit Carrie up on Facebook, facebook.com slash epiphany crafter, as I said earlier, or email happy mail at epiphanycraft.com. And uh if you guys have any questions about uh, making little wire flowers that I didn't answer or didn't know to answer, just Shoot me an email or hit me up on Facebook and uh, I will do my best to answer it and get you going in the right direction. Cool. And I can't wait to see what you guys suggest for next week's episode. Uh, Kiki says she poured some today. I want to see pictures, woman. <laughs> pictures. Ornaments. Ornaments. Mm. Pendants, if you're Emily, she did pendants today. Yeah, uh, I, I got to see part of her stream. She is pretty quick with all that wire bending. Mm. Man, it, she's a pro. She's been doing it for years. She used to do it, I think, professionally, too. So that's why she's so good. You'll get there. You'll get there soon. Well, Kiki, have a great night. And night, y'all. Stick around uh, tomorrow for Mama B's stream at uh, youtube.com slash c slash 70 acres studio thank think. you mama b yes and uh well i guess that's all for this evening we are going to get out of here anything else you want to say before we get going like i don't know later tater i don't know uh, that's what i was going to do but now i don't need to damn it i act like i didn't uh say that later taters <laughs> see you guys <laughs>